today's episode, with hundreds of thousands of victims in less than a month, French officials, including the Prime Minister, Edouard Balladur, host representative of the Rwandan genocidal government. On the same day, thousands of Tutsis are killed in Nyamuri Hill, where many had been hiding for close to a week. <laughs> April 27, 1994. Massacres perpetrated against Tutsis in the form of Utere and Changugu prefectures. During the genocide, the French government hosted senior leaders of Hutu power. France is the only country that continued to collaborate with the criminal government, even though they knew the government was carrying out a genocide. On April 27, 1994, three weeks after the beginning of the genocide, Two representatives of the criminal government, that's to say, Jérôme Bichamomaka and Jean Bonscovaraya Guiza, were hosted in Paris, Champs-Élysées, and Matignon, whereas America and Belgium had refused to give them visas. They held talks with French officials, including the Prime Minister, Édouard Balladur, Foreign Affairs Minister, Alain Juppé, and Bruno Dallaire, who headed the office in charge of Africa at the office of the President. Balea Guiza, who was the director of the administration and finance in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, as well as one of CDR executive committee members, one of the founders of RTLM, a powerful tool for genocide propaganda. Bichamumaka was a dedicated extremist, a member of MDR power, as well as a minister of foreign affairs in the criminal government. During the United Nations Council meeting, he fiercely said that the genocide against the Tutsi was imperative. Human rights activist groups put pressure on France and expressed a concern over France's hosting of murderous people. France said that they had received Rwandan delegation to continue talks with both sides. However, they later said it was a private visit. France knew very well who they were talking to. They also knew the political support needed by the criminal government to keep the genocide going. Massacres of Tutsis in the Congo Disagara. Mugusa commune was led by Burgumestre Kavaiza André. Before becoming Bourgmestre, he was working in the Prime Minister's office in 1992 and had replaced Kanyamanza on S4. The former Bourgmestre Kanyamanza is the one who coordinated all activities related to the planning and execution of the genocide. They also brought soldiers, the one who was called Ajida and was later made the principal of Jikongo High School. He was from Jisenyi and was like the genocide commanding officer. He issued instructions relating to establishment of roadblocks, trained Hutu youth on how they would kill Tutsis, and so on. The director of the project, Rizikol de Butare, a rice processing center called Musio Gistin, helped soldiers to receive instructions related to genocide planning and implementation through his phone in the center. Also, genocide planning meetings were held at the factory. The list of Tutsis to be killed was compiled by the Bourgmestre Kavaisandre in collaboration with former Bourgmestre and councillors. It started in the Buhoro sector, which was inhabited by many Burundians. They started slaughtering and eating Tutsi cows. The councillor came to the commune and he was given police officers and the agronomist. He took the Burundians at the commune and when they arrived, Ajida released them saying that they had made a mistake of eating cows while their owners are still alive. He told them to kill the owners first and then eat the cows. This happened during the first days of April, between April 8th and 9th, 1994. Tutsis from Rusatira, Ruhasha, Shanda, Mbazi, and Mugusa communes were gathered in the Jikongo commune. More than 25,000 Tutsis were killed on April 27th, 1994. In order to gather them, councillors used loudspeakers and called them to the football ground. After that, Soldiers shot at them from the upper side of the ground, while the other killers with traditional weapons surrounded them. Leading killers included Deputy Burgumestre called Sylvestre, together with his father Mujenzi, the former Jikongo councillor Kwajira Yezu, Kaitare Yusi, the director of Serrar School, and was the president of CDR in the commune, brigadier of the commune called Atanaz, and school's inspector called Muramba. Nyamure Hill was located in former Butare Prefecture, Nyazu Commune, Nyamure Sector, Gatare Cell. It is currently in Nyanza District, Muira Sector, Nyamure Cell, Gatare Village. Many Tutsis started to flee to Nyamure Hill on April 20th, 1994, and joined others who had arrived before. They spent a week there till April 27th, 1994, when a major attack came and killed them all. They had taken refuge there because they thought the genocide would not be very severe as it was and they thought it was a short-term conflict when they would be able to return home. In addition, 
Many would have fled to Burundi, which shared borders with Nyazo, Muira, and Nongwe communes. They also thought it was easier for them to defend themselves with stones while up on the hill, and that's what happened when they were attacked. Many Tutsis were from Muira, Nyazo, and Usatira communes, Butari prefecture, and from Chigoma and Nongwe communes in Jitarama prefecture and elsewhere. Those who could had brought little food which they shared with many others and got finished immediately. Due to hunger and thirst, as they were staying on the top of the hill, far from their fields, they started to form small groups to go and fetch nourishment from their closest fields during the night, but it was very scary as the attack started on April 21, 1994. Later, they started to slaughter and eat their own cows. They arrived on April 20th and on April 21st. Major attacks, mainly composed of many citizens and in Eramwe, started to attack them and kill them. They had machetes, clubs, spears, and many other traditional weapons. Only guns were used after realizing that the Tutsis were defending themselves using stones and few bows and arrows that they had. From April 22 to 26, 1994, many attacks kept on coming and more Tutsis were still coming for refuge, more especially on April 25, 1994. Killers had used other ways and reached Tutsi refugees from the top of Nyamuri Hill, and Tutsi started to flee from Nyamuri. Once Tutsi started to flee from Nyamuri Hill, they ran directly into the path of killers who immediately killed 10 of the Tutsis, while others were killed on their way while they were going to fetch food from the fields. During the time, leaders and Ineramwi continued to lead the attacks and mobilize people to kill. At the forefront, there was Burgumestre of Mira commune called Moutou Adalbert, Tukajira Mungu Zakari, MDR president in Nyazo commune, various councillors of Nyazo commune, Muri Indahabi, the council of Nyamure, Muri Indahabi Izai of Gatonde sector, and Mutabaruka, who was the councillor of Kayanza sector. There were also many trained in Eramwe, like Sendima, Munyaneza Gaspar, and others. In addition, Ndahimana, who was the director of Nyamure Health Center, sent a health center car to fetch Ineramgan police officers from Muira and Nyazo communes. There was also Munyakayanza and Mbarubucheye, teachers at Nyamure Primary School, who played an important role in mobilizing people to kill and lead attacks. More particularly, they participated in the killings of Tutsis who had taken refuge at Rugwezamenyu Hill, opposite Nyamure Hill, and students from Nyamuri Primary School who believed that they would be protected by their teachers who in turn killed them. There was also a citizen called Gakuba who used grenades. On April 26, 1994, killers spent a night at the base of the hill surrounding Tutsi refugees to make sure that no one would escape and eventually survive. On the morning of April 27, 1994, major attacks were directed to them using guns, grenades, traditional weapons, and they were no longer able to defend themselves. Many soldiers and gendarmes from Nyabisindu Superfecture, Nyanza, and others who had spent two weeks at Muira Commune with Burgmestre Mutua d'Albert, who were also joined by many others from Nyanza on the same day. There was also police officers from Muira and Nyazo communes, as well as Ineram from Ujesera via Busoro. Soldiers set up a gun at Nyamuri Primary School and started to shoot. Tutsis were very afraid due to the high death toll and serious injuries and the remaining ones descended on the hill, but they could not survive since killers were down waiting for them. After the gunshots, killers climbed the hill to finish off those who were breathing and to take away their belongings. In general, nearly 22,378 Tutsis were killed at Nyamuri Hill. Their bodies were left lying around due to their huge numbers. Those who led the attacks included Burgumestre of Muira Commune, Moutoua d'Albert, who was sentenced to life imprisonment but fled to Democratic Republic of Congo. Tukwajira Mungu Zakari, who was the president of MDR in Nyazo Commune. Police officers of Muira Commune, led by Ruberandinda Claver, Gasanganwa, Bazarama, and Bizoza. Ruzindana Siras, a major businessman in Muira Center and Nyamiaga, whose car also transported Dine Ramwe to Nyamure. He was also sentenced to life imprisonment, but fled to Congo, Brazzaville. Thank you for listening to another episode of Kwibuka Podcast. As always, make sure you leave us a review, sharing what you like about the podcast, and share with others who would be interested.